Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in today. Today, on this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to uh, turn on the Captain Sim 757. Uh, or, I, also you can say Startup. Okay, first of all, we'll go to the overhead panel. And, usually, well, uh, firstly, this is, the, this is the priority, you're supposed to turn on the battery switch. And then, you're supposed to go to the IRS panel. And, turn it to Nav. Okay, now you have to turn the yaw dampers on. Then you have to turn on the hydraulic pumps. All four of them, and there's ele two electric pumps over there. Okay, and the window heat switches. And the uh, fuel pumps, all of them. And then you have to change the heat to auto, the cabin heat. You can see me turning them right now. You may not see my cursor, but you can see I'm turning. Alright, I'll turn the trim air on and turn on the air conditioning and our pack reset and L pack reset. Left engine, right engine, and APU. Alright, now let's turn on our APU. Let's start it up, I mean. Okay, let's wait for it. It's running now. Okay. Make sure your seatbelt and uh, don't sparking on the, are on auto. And right now, see it's on DC power. Since I don't have my engines on, I don't think uh, it'll be working. Uh, let's try on the engines now. Okay, right now I'm turning on, I just turn on my engines. They might take a while. And now I have enough power to start up all the instruments right over here. You can see all of them right over here. Okay, congratulations. You've started up Captain Sim 757. Okay, but there's a lot, there's a lot more to this uh, than just starting up. You have to not use the autopilot on the Captain Sim 757. I'll bring up the tutorial about that sometime later. Thank you, everyone. Please subscribe. Goodbye.